the chimps have discovered how to crack open nuts using stones. The technique is remarkably sophisticated and perhaps more than any other behavior reminds us of our Stone Age past. Cracking open the hard nut requires the correct toolkit and they're very careful about selecting stones. One as an anvil, the other as a hammer. Biologists here have numbered the stones to find out which ones the chimps like to use. The anvil must be levelled properly and then the nut placed without rolling off. Each blow is finely judged to crack the casing without crushing the nut inside. The younger ones, even though they're not actually doing it, seem to be completely absorbed in the activity and watching the others. They only very occasionally get to actually taste the nut. The main reason these young chimps copy the others is that it gives them a sense of identity and belonging. I suppose it's sort of the equivalent of kids playing at cookery. Finally's about two and a half. And although she obviously doesn't really know what's going on, she knows that those stones have some significance. But it'll be another six, seven years before she really develops the technique. And even then, she'll carry on refining it right into adulthood. There are several stages to learning how to crack nuts. First, learn to handle one object. Then, try combining two objects. And finally, put all three together in the right order. The primate hands which originally evolved for climbing trees now can order and manipulate objects which changes the way their brain works. And the clue to this is that like us, chimps are either right-handed or left-handed. For us, a preference for using one hand or the other reflects a very important step in the evolution of our brains. The two halves became specialised, and that specialisation allowed us to develop language, imagination, and all our creative skills. <laughs>